Good morning, people. Dustin Jad checking in on a mission today. Our, our, our mission today is to go ahead and catch a papillo on a bubble floater. This is what I absolutely love doing. Aside from kayak fishing and I'm fishing from shore, this is, this is my number one way to fish. Today, I'm out in the beautiful Kaneohe Bay. I can't say exactly where it's at, but I'm gonna go ahead and target some papillo today. Um, bubble float action. If you guys don't know what that is, you guys will see in a, in this episode. Um, ultimately, I'll show you guys my setup. Um, it's pretty much a, a whipping style, but it's all it's all it's all it's all super fun. <laughs> Excuse me, it's all super fun. It's too early in the morning for me to to be talking, but um, hopefully we catch some action today. But check this out, guys! It's so gorgeous. And if you guys know where this is, shh. This is gonna be my setup today. A little fly, fluorocarbon, swivel, and bubble floater. I'll show you guys how I set it up. So first, my bubble floater. It's just about halfway filled with water. It's gonna go ahead and go through a, a swivel. Just a regular barrel swivel. This one is a ball bearing swivel, but a regular barrel swivel will do just fine. This is straight to my 16 pound test floral. My floral is gonna be just about one arm length. So I would say maybe about five feet, maybe four feet actually would be better. Two a Rapala loop to a little fly. This little fly is my little version of a, a mullet. Everybody has their own renditions, but whatever works for you, works for you. This here gives me the greatest success with a fly because it gives it free range of motion in case, you know, you want as much action as you can on the lure. You can use your choice of fly that you want. Today I'm going to be using a little about 3 inch fly. Just because it's a little cold and I'm not too sure if there's too many big predators out. So I'm just going to go ahead and play around with the little guys today. I'll catch and release. Good fun kind action. So this here is how my setup looks. So I got my, my fly to my Rapala knot all the way. So about a 4 foot leader all the way into my bubble float but this is it guys we're gonna try our luck today let's go so right now currently i'm making my way to the spot Making sure I don't see any or step on any stingrays because there's normally a bunch of stingrays here and I don't want to get poked because all I got is some tubbies. That's it. That wouldn't be nice or fun at all. Especially being out here alone. But I'm going to do my first cast. It's literally in knee deep water so we'll see we'll see what happens so what i'm doing is i'm popping my lure or my my floater on top of the water to hopefully create attention to the predator fish or the predator fishes and create a, a reaction bite because you have no smell you gotta trick the lure so what i'm assuming this bubble float replicates is like a jack or a trevally feeding on top of the water it normally triggers a response to almost every other predator I'm sure it'll work in the mainland extremely well but I don't see too many guys doing it out there not too sure if this is a Hawaii thing or if it hasn't caught on yet so normally I like to work myself a fan and hit all my little angles 
but this is ultimately not my goal I mean my my goal zone I'm still making my way out it's real shallow once I hit my point that I normally like to fish that's when I start fanning I absolutely love this type of fishing You don't know what you're gonna hook, that's why. Sometimes you hook a little one pound fish, and sometimes you hook like a 20 pound fish. You really don't know. There you go, I'm hooked up guys. I'm hooked up, doesn't feel too big. Doesn't feel big at all. It actually feels like a barracuda. Let's see what it is. Wow, <laughs> cute little guy. This here is an umilu or omilu, also known as a, a bluefin trevally. It's a fun little guy. So cute. Thanks for the flight, guy. Woo, goodbye. Well, let's try that again. Hopefully, his mama is going to come out to play this time or the next time all right let's try it again where's your mama at boy oh there you go i'm hooked up guys feels like a little rat but this is so fun this is exactly why i put on my smaller lure than I normally use only because it's cold and I knew there were going to be a lot of rats out I shouldn't say new I assumed there were going to be a lot of rats out and not so many big ones but action poor little guy is getting dragged right in look at this his little brother I wanted his mommy but he absolutely destroyed that lure well thank you little guy Goodbye. They like to swim around me. Crazy fishes. That was back to back. Let's see if I can get a third. Cast number 100. Just joking. This is probably cast 10. Man, where this wind come from? Go home, wind. I'm enjoying this time. All right, guys. Spot number two and day number two. The other spot I got blown out because the wind picked up quite a bit. Um, I ended up catching two papillos on that side and the water got brown and I was scared because uh, <laughs> the stingrays, the stingrays is, is pretty crazy. But I got uh, my bubble float set up here. But this is spot number two, um, the day after. Current time it's seven o'clock so maybe the bite might be a little earlier, we'll see. Hooked up guys, we're hooked up. Feels like a good size popio. Early morning strike baby. Let's get it. He's gonna run me off to the pier. He's running straight to the pier. That's not good. No, 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 no. What is this? Umilu. Yes, baby. Umilu. Hopefully he's hooked well. Yep. Wow, guys. He choked it. My lure is gone. I was gonna let this guy go. This guy is, let's see. That's nine, 10, 11. Well, he's a 12 incher. Look at this, guys. He buried the hook. 
So he's hooked in the gill. I have to keep him now. My plan was to let it go. Dang it. I didn't bring pliers. Because he ate my lure, I'm gonna go ahead and put a new one on. It's all good. I have a bunch of extra lures. There we go. That was literally my second cast at this spot. And I didn't even get to pop my lure. It, my pole just went off um, immediately as it hit the water. I like my lure back because that's the only one I have with that color. But what can I do? Sorry, dude. So, I'll leave him right here. And what I normally do is I'll find a stick that I could find. Then I'll plug it into a ground or plug it into a hole just to keep it here. Just like that. Yeah, so we're hooked up again. He bit real close. It's another Umilu. Wow, there's a bunch of them. There's a lot of partners. I'm gonna try to flip them. Hopefully, he doesn't come off. Up. Yes, uh, number two. Sun's really coming up now. Oh, wow, this guy's bigger. This is 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh no, it's not. This guy's 12 and a half inches. Ow! Ooh, he, he got me. <laughs> Fail. Man. My whole plan was to catch and release, but I got one. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this guy. I was supposed to do a catch and release. But I'm gonna keep him since I already have another one. Now I got two pieces of fish, one for me, one for my, my fiance. And then anything else after this, I'm gonna go ahead and let go. But that's pretty action. I'm surprised because this morning, it was about 50, 58 degrees when I checked the weather. It's unreal. I thought it was gonna be slow. Yep, we hooked up again. This one's smaller, but we're on. Pretty action this morning. Holy moly. Another cutie. Umilu, smaller one. Uh-oh. Did you really swallow the hook guy? He's really strong, so goodbye. And he's out. All right, guys, it's eight o'clock already. Um, I caught that that five papillos. The the two that I released at the other place. And then today I caught that three, one that I released. Um, and then the two that I kept, the ones that I was supposed to release, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn those guys into some sashimi and um, I'm gonna make some soup out of the bones and the head, but it's gonna be bomb. But it was a successful mission. Bubble float to a fly. But I'll catch you guys on another episode of Fishing with Dustin, or I normally would say kayak 
fishing with us in for seagull fishing but i'll catch you guys on the water or in the water or whatever something to do with fishing so next time guys Beep.